The biggest generic drug maker in the world just agreed to make a huge payout to the state of Oklahoma. On Sunday, Teva Pharmaceutical Industries agreed to pay $85 million to the state in order to prevent going to trial over a lawsuit which claims the company helped fuel the opioid epidemic currently seizing the United States. Teva is adamant it did nothing wrong and said the settlement does not establish any wrongdoing on the part of the company. At the center of the case were two painkillers the drug manufacturer produces, Actic and Fentora. Teva isn't alone in this lawsuit. Johnson & Johnson, too, was accused of fanning the flames when it comes to America's disturbing addiction to painkillers. However, they haven't settled and are headed for trial next week. Oklahoma Attorney General Mike Hunter alleges these companies engaged in deceptive ad campaigns which didn't properly convey how addictive and harmful their drugs can be. They also accuse the companies of creating an abundance of the drugs, which will cost the state anywhere between $12.7 to $17.5 billion to eradicate. Another company involved in a similar case, Purdue Pharma LP, already settled with the state in March and paid out $270 million. So, other than these big payouts, why are these cases significant? Well, it could set a precedent for other states who are desperately trying to wean the public off of these drugs. In fact, some 1,850 municipalities have already attempted to go after the drug companies. So what will Oklahoma do with all this cash? The Attorney General's office said that the money will go towards combating the opioid crisis in the state.